Hey there, and welcome to Play Noggin. I'm Julian, your brains player too. I'll fully admit that back in the days of the Nintendo DS, I jumped aboard the brain training train. And while I can't say for sure Nintendo's brain age made me smarter, I had a surprisingly large amount of fun playing Sudoku and solving math problems as quickly as possible. In the years since, I haven't thought much about games that are specifically meant to educate, but I obviously spend a lot of time thinking about the educational aspects of games, but more in the how could Tracer rewind time for herself without also rewinding her own memories kind of way. But recently, I started paying attention to apps like Lumosity, and I wondered, is there anything to the idea of brain training? Can it really make you smarter? Lumosity is one of the biggest players in the space today, and if you've paid attention to the news in the last few years, you probably know where I'm going with this. Lumosity had made claims that using their apps for 10 to 15 minutes a day, three or four days a week, would make a real and measurable difference in your life. Their apps would make you better in the business world, in the classroom, on the sports field arena place where your sport of choice happens, all because you'd been training your brain to be better at all the things you already do. Even more surprising, Lumosity also billed itself as a way to stave off the effects of age-related degenerative mental disorders, such as dementia or Alzheimer's. Yeah, so researchers found that that just wasn't true, and Lumosity was forced to pay huge fines in the millions of dollars and go to their subscribers hat in hand and give them an easy way to cancel. It's easy to see why people bought into their claims, though. Who wouldn't want an easy and fun way to make yourself smarter. And even my own experiences with brain age made the software seem promising. Beginning the process with a brain age of 52 and ending with a brain age of 22 just makes you feel good. It's the sort of positive feedback your brain craves, and objectively speaking, I was getting better at performing the tests in the game. That's the thing, though. Studies have continually found that using brain training apps like Lumosity or BrainAge do improve one thing, your ability to use those brain training apps. What's really happening is you're becoming more familiar with the tests and games, and so naturally you perform better in them. I've gotten pretty darn good at pulling off crazy headshots in games, but I wouldn't argue that that's improving my math either. See, there's a difference between getting better at something due to familiarity with it and showing what's known as fluid intelligence, or the ability to solve new problems problems that you've not previously encountered. One researcher likened it to scanning baggage at an airport in search of knives. Eventually, you can spot a knife hiding among underwear from a mile away. It doesn't mean you can suddenly fly a plane. So is that it then? If brain training apps don't really improve our brains, is our favorite pastime really just a frivolous waste of time? First of all, no, because leisure is a vitally important component to a healthy life, so video game haters, there's the door. Also, why are you watching this video about video games? Go watch paint dry or something. Secondly, and this might blow your minds a little bit, video games in general are believed to improve your learning capabilities. How could that be? Aren't video games turning us into mindless murdering monsters? Actually, research tends to show just the opposite. Playing an action game, for example, strengthens your learning ability by improving your capability for making predictions. In life, we're always tempted to predict what will happen, what someone will say next, which box is booby-trapped, and which has the gold doubloons. Or is that just me? Anyway, playing fast-paced games improves that capability, it encourages our brains to develop and change, because the brain doesn't know exactly what's going to be thrown at it. This is because, in order to be able to handle what life throws at us, our brain takes our experiences and uses them to build templates. These are models for the way things work in the world. Studies found that the more experience a person has with fast-paced action games, the quicker they were at developing new templates in the real world. If that was all that video games did, it should be enough to shut up the Jack Thompsons of the world for good. But they actually do even more. They teach problem solving and creativity, and they increase interest in history and culture. Researchers even found a correlation between high video game usage and improved cognitive ability. Kids who play a lot of video games showed 1.75 times increased in high intellectual functioning, and were 1.88 times more likely to have high overall school competence. Would have been great to have that data when I was trying to convince my mom to let me stay Stay up just one more hour to finally beat Ganon. But that's fine. I live on my own now, Mom. Just yesterday I played Breath of the Wild until 3 a.m. and you can't do anything about it! <clears throat> Of course, there's a lot more research to be done, and you'll be able to find narrowly focused studies that seem to contradict the findings we talked about here. But the point is that our research is trending toward the positive on the subject of games, and that should make you feel good about our shared hobby. Hey, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Check out some of our other videos here, and if you have an idea for a game or topic to cover, leave it in the comments below. Don't forget to keep on playing.